Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the best. I know I always say that, <laughs> but no, y'all, seriously, for real, for real, this video right here, if you love sweet, fruity fragrances and you want to smell sweet, fruity, sexy, intoxicating, sultry, alluring, sophisticated, classy, and all that, you want to smell like a snack and all of that, then this video is for you because these combinations right here, y'all, I mean, when I tell you ain't nobody smelling better than me, I'm not just saying that. Like, I'm literally telling you the truth, okay? So if you want to smell better than everybody around you this spring and summer, then you need to pay attention to this video. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content. Leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and also make sure your notification bell is on. Just because you're subscribed doesn't mean you're gonna see all my videos, so please make sure your notification bell is on because YouTube be funny style like that sometimes. <laughs> so just make sure the bell is on so you don't miss any of this good, good content over here, okay? So y'all, we're gonna do a lot of layering and we're gonna be doing some cherries, some raspberries, some citrus, some nutty, some peach, but we are going to start with the banana. This beautiful bananas foster citrusy spring, summer, all year round gourmand that is just classy, sophisticated, rich, just everything that I could want and more in a fragrance right here, okay? So you guys already know what's in Ambrosia Imperial. We have banana, we have rum, we have orange, we have some dates, we have Davana, we have caramel, we have saffron. Y'all, I cannot stop smelling this fragrance and I literally cannot stop spraying myself. Like, it's just that good. And I'm not just saying that because this is my work of art, my creation, but it's just that good. Like, let's call it spade a spade. All right, so layering with this fragrance. You know what? Let me share with you some banana body creams. So I shared with you this before in um, my spring summer video, spring summer body care video that you guys need to get the hemp's sugared banana body cream. This is a vanilla and banana body cream. The scent is on a scale of one to 10. How potent is this? It's probably like a seven in potency. It's not super loud or anything like that, but you definitely smell it. And it smells like a more softer version of a banana. It's not super sweet. I think the vanilla in this fragrance makes it, I feel like it's like a little bit of the green part of the vanilla because it's really not that, so it's sweet, but it's not as sweet, but I love it, y'all. And if you love the scent of banana, you'll love this. And it layers beautifully with not just Ambrosia Imperial. If you don't have my fragrance, have no fear because we're going to speak about other fragrances today. But if you have anything fruity and you want to add a little bit of banana to it, then you need this. Another one from Bath and Body Works is the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. So a couple of weeks ago, right? Like a couple of weeks ago in my premiere, we were speaking of this and some of you guys mentioned to me that it smells green to you. Like, I wanna say a couple of people said they thought it was gonna be sweeter and it smells green to them. I will say this, it's not a cloyingly sweet banana scent, but y'all, this is really good. Like honestly, if I had to choose between this and this, I'm gonna choose this right here. This is good. It is good. I really do really like it. I like it a lot. But this one I love. It's sweet. It's not green to me at all. I mean, it doesn't smell like just pure banana. And it's not just pure banana. This is passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. So you're not gonna get that sweet cloying fruit of the banana, but you definitely get some banana. And it smells really good. It's tropical. I love it. So that can be your base. You can use, it depends on what you're layering with. It doesn't necessarily always have to be banana because you can do something like a pina colada, which we're going to get to next and have pineapples and coconuts and bananas or something like that. So you don't necessarily need all the banana body creams unless you just want to smell like a banana, like just a full on banana. But for me, I like to have a little bit of banana, a little bit of coconut, a little bit of pineapple whatever 
So the first combination is with Tamin's Blue Heart. If you guys watch my vlogs, you have seen this in action. I wore this about two weeks ago on a date night with Bay. And when I tell you, I got my whole entire, no, was it on a date night with Bay? No, it wasn't on a date night. I went to eat with my cousins, but y'all seen it in the vlog. This combination right here, it's like, first of all, I've always loved this, okay? One of my subbies sent me some decans, like 10 mil decans of all the Tamin fragrances sometime last summer. And Blue Heart is my absolute favorite. Now, I've heard mixed things about Blue Heart. Don't blind buy this because some people think it's masculine. Y'all know how y'all do with the masculinity. <laughs> you know what I mean? To me, it's not masculine. It just smells deep. It smells kind of dark, mysterious, and very, very sexy. Now, added with this, this is sweet, okay? It's not a cloying sweet, but this is sweet. Added with this, y'all, I'm telling you, you will get your whole entire life because this right here is a saffron. Listen, if you love the scent of saffron, point blank period. There's more notes in here, obviously. But if you love the scent of saffron, you will love this. There's also saffron in here. So we're playing up the saffron and the caramel together. It's deep, it's dark, it's super sexy. This is a winning combination right here. Now, another kind of like saffron bomb in my like words, is Cavort by Fragrance Dubois. This also has saffron. There's, oh, y'all know I love this fragrance. There's vanilla in this fragrance. This is a beautiful, sexy fragrance. Another one that's not like a safe blind buy. Layer it with Ambrosia Imperial for another sexy date night. Now, I will say this. Don't layer on top of each other. Just put some Ambrosia like, you know, on one arm or like different points of your arm. Put some cavort different areas. Don't layer them on top of each other because you don't want them to outpower each other, to like overwhelm each other. You want each of them to shine on their own. You're gonna get a little bit of cavort, a little bit of Ambrosia Imperial or AI. So you're just gonna put them both together all over your body, but not necessarily, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I find that when I do that sometimes, you can't really tell what's going on because one scent is overpowering the other, especially if they're both like beast mode kind of scents. You don't want that. You want to smell both of the fragrances and how they mesh and marry together. So just put some Cavort someplace and then put some Ambrosia Imperial other places that you haven't put Cavort and you will get your whole entire sexy date night life, okay? This is also perfect for the fall. I feel like this would be a great combination to wear in the fall and in the winter as well. Another combination with Ambrosia Imperial, if you want to do like a pina colada type of scent, Pineapple by Dolce Gabbana. I mean, this is like a no-brainer. I showed this, when did I show this? In a vlog, I think. I showed this, y'all seen this. <laughs> y'all have seen this in either in a video or a vlog. But pineapple and bananas, I mean, how tropical and sweet and sexy do you really want to smell? Like, honestly, these two right here, another beautiful match made. Now, if you want to add a little bit of something extra, something much fruitier because bananas y'all this is like a fruit bowl like you can make a concoction of a fruit bowl basket you can add bananas with anything cherries blackberries strawberries pineapples coconuts it doesn't matter bananas go with everything cassiopeia by tiziana terenzi y'all it's like a whole sweet musky fruit explosion okay super sweet super fruity it's like a candy sweet because this smells like jolly rancher and then when you pair it with this this automatically turns into like a banana laffy taffy like the two of them are so beautiful together this you can layer in different spots or you can put them on top of each other some work on top of each other and some don't this actually does so get your life y'all if you love sweet fruity and you want to smell better? I mean, like, trust me when I'm telling you, y'all. This is beautiful. And the last combination with Ambrosia Imperial that I want to share today, because I definitely have some more combos, but I don't want to make this video all about this. I want to add some other fragrances in the mix. Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Coconut and banana. I mean, did you not think this was going to be a vibe? Now, when you want to make it a vibe vibe, because this is a vibe. All right, period, point blank, it's a vibe. But when you wanna just slay, kill them, choke them, snatch heads, snatch souls, snatch everything possible, you wanna smell like a super sexy pina colada, 
super sexy tropical balm. These three right here. Ambrosia Imperial, AKA AI, <laughs> Pineapple by Dolce Gabbana, and Sole Blanc by Tom Ford. It is the most sexiest pina colada ever, okay? And I didn't stop there because my base, I use a Balinese coconut. And I told y'all, I'm straight savage now. I used to layer this in my Eucerin. <laughs> now I just literally just take it. I'm gonna just show y'all. I just take a couple of drops and I literally just rub it onto my skin. Like, this is like $80, y'all. Like, what in the what? But you know what? I'm using it. I'm oh my goodness. If y'all don't have the Balinese coconut, y'all need it. It kind of smells like Madagascar vanilla, but more sweet coconut. I'm not gonna lie to you, it does smell a little bit synthetic because coconuts to me aren't sweet, but you definitely smell some type of a sweetness with the coconut. This is everything. If I had to choose between this and Madagascar vanilla. I'm gonna choose this one right here because I love sweet, I love coconut. Even though I love my Madagascar vanilla, I have every single one of the Nest oils and I don't regret any one of them because they all smell amazing. They all layer beautifully with your fragrances. But this one just has a little bit more sweetness. It has a little bit more razzle dazzle than the vanilla um, and coconut one. Although, like I said, I love both of them, but I know somebody gonna ask. So this I prefer over Madagascar Vanilla, although I love my Madagascar Vanilla. So like I said, y'all, if y'all trying to do that sexy pina colada vibe, you can wear this at night, okay? You can wear this in the day. You can wear this to run errands. You can wear this to a date night, to a brunch. Anytime you want to smell like a sexy AF pina colada, this is like the winning combo right here. All right, so enough with the bananas, right? <laughs> All right, so let me show y'all some other combinations that have been having me like, whew, smelling better than everybody. Y'all already know. All right, so we're gonna go to the peach now. All right, so if you guys love peaches, I mean, I've showed this on my channel so many times. Peach Please by Soap and Glory. I think it's back in stock. It's in and out. If it's in stock, I'm gonna link it. So Peach Please by Soap and Glory, the body wash and also the body cream. I'm obsessed, okay? This smells so good. If you love the scent of peach, you will absolutely love this. It's super strong, super potent. It's moisturizing to the skin. I love, okay? So with our peach routine, Tabit by Tiziana Terenzi. I mean, I'm not gonna say too much about this fragrance because y'all already know I'm obsessed. This is my first Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. I blind bought it and it was a win-win, okay? This layered with Jimmy Choo's, I want you. Whew. Now, Tibet can be unisex. I guess you can say it's unisex. It's not a pretty frou frou la la, pretty girl type of scent, but it smells, um, it's unisex leaning more feminine in my opinion. But it definitely has that musky, ambery dry down. I love it. Some people don't. It is what it is. I love it. You definitely smell the peach in this fragrance as well. Now, if you want to sweeten it up just a bit more, make it a little more frou frou la la, a little bit more feminine than these two right here and you can go ham okay you can spray them all over your body layer them on top of each other this combination right here is everything okay so to bit by tiziana terenzi and jimmy choose i want you it's a whole peach vibe i think i have another peach to show y'all do i yes i do so we have Wind Flowers by Creed. And I think I showed y'all this in a vlog as well. Do y'all watch my vlogs? Like if y'all watch my vlogs, you definitely see a little bit more lifestyle. You see a little bit more of my life with Bay, And you definitely see fragrances and when I'm getting ready and my layering combinations and things like that. So don't just wait to like a sit down formal video. Watch my vlogs because you'll get this long before I put this in a sit down video. So we have Wind Flowers by Creed and My Burberry Black. This right here, y'all, is so freaking sexy, okay? This fragrance is super pretty. It's creamy. It's like a gourmand, very sweet brown sugar pralines, orange blossom, oh my goodness. Tuberose, I believe, is in this fragrance as well. I love it, okay? And then you add the very strong, very polarizing scent of My Burberry Black. There's peach in here too, but the peach in here, oh, she's peaching, okay? Super strong, super potent, 
I don't think it's a safe flying by. It's an acquired scent, but if you love it, you will absolutely love it. I feel like there's no in between. You either love it or you hate it. I love this and I love layering it with other fragrances and layered with windflowers. It's just a whole sexy, sweet, decadent gourmand vibe of just baked peaches. That's what it smells like. Peaches that were baked and just so yummy and I'm hungry right now and I haven't eaten. So we ain't gonna talk about too much baked peaches and fruits and bananas foster and all of that because I'm getting hungry. But this right here, y'all, is a whole vibe. I think you can save 20%. No, not I think. You definitely can save 20% on soavantgarde.com with my discount code, the great 20 if it's in stock. And also to bits, you can save 20%. And also Cassiopeia. So I'm going to link everything. If it's in stock, you can use my discount code and get you these fragrances. Because let me tell y'all, nobody's going to be smelling better than y'all, okay? So now let's get to, ooh, okay. So another one that I shared in a vlog, if y'all remember when I did a whole get ready with me and I was supposed to be like going to a dinner reservation at 11, was it 11 p.m.? Maybe like 10, 30 p.m. in New York. And long story short, we ended up going to McDonald's, all right? Watch the vlog if you wanna see what happened. But y'all, that night, I was smelling real, real good in the car to go to McDonald's. I was the best smelling person at that McDonald's drive-thru. I wore House of Siage Passion de l'Amour layered with Angel Nova, okay? This may sound a little bit weird to y'all, but this right here, when I tell you, this combo is so sexy. It's the caramel, it's the oud. There's also like an oud accord in this fragrance. There's raspberry in, in Angel Nova. There's raspberry in Passion de l'Amour. The two of them combined are just a match made in sweet, oudy, caramel heaven. Beautiful combination, lasts super long on the skin. Perfect for a sexy date night, all right? I wouldn't wear this in a day because this is a little bit thick and kind of syrupy and cloying. It can get a little cloying, but y'all, this is my favorite. My absolute favorite House of Siage fragrance. I don't think it's for everybody. It's not a safe blind buy. Angel Nova, like how can you lose with this fragrance? It's bright, it's fresh, it's a little tart. It's sweet, but not in a cloying type of way because of that raspberry, I'm obsessed, okay? So both of these together, get to your whole life. When I'm telling you, like nobody is going to be smelling better than you. Trust me when I tell you. So the next combination we have, ooh, Yum Pistachio. All right, so let me share with y'all the body care. I forgot to get the spray, but y'all know I have the spray to the pistache um, body care. So I have the body spray, I have the shower oil, and of course I have the body cream. This is a whole vibe. This smells like pure pistachio, all right? So when Yum came out, all the girls were trying to find something that was gonna give us that sweet, deep, cloying, like pistachio scent, and that's what you're getting from this pistachio because this is a more light and airy, powdery, kind of like citrusy version of pistachio, right? You smell the pistachio, but it's definitely more light and airy, more spring, summer appropriate. You can wear this in a hot heat. I don't feel like it's gonna be cloying or anything like that. Now, the body spray to this, if you wear this alone in a hot heat, I don't know, because it is very, very, very potent, okay? If you love that scent of pistachio, kind of like a little salty, but sweet, definitely nutty. Like, it smells like pure pistachio, all right? And super, super strong. That's the body spray to this. I'm looking at it right now. I don't know why I forgot to pull it, but this combo, you know, you shower with the shower oil, you lay down your body spray, and then you put this on top of the body spray and then you go on with the body spray again and then you spray this this is going to last on you for like five to six hours you're definitely going to smell like pistachio so if you want that yummy pistachio but this has the citruses and the potteriness that's going to cut through all that super heavy decadent pistachio that this has to offer so it is just a perfect match when i'm telling y'all like you have to Believe me, okay? Now, another combination that I did with Yum. Whoo, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. It's an almond fragrance, almond and vanilla fragrance. I love this fragrance. It's a for life fragrance. 
it's just something about this fragrance that just has me like i've been wearing this for years okay and this was my first almond fragrance i want to say this is a fragrance that let me know that i love nutty and almond scents this one right here a lot of people don't talk about it but this one right here is bay when i tell you speaking of bay he loves this on me little old hypnotic poison like this is a very sexy fragrance it smells so good on me it smells so good to me it's one of those beautiful fragrances now i layered it with tom ford's lost cherry y'all already know cherries cherry liqueur almonds vanilla beautiful fragrance y'all know i ride so hard for this fragrance because this is like the top tier of cherry fragrances for me i've smelled a lot of cherry fragrances but honestly y'all nothing smells better than lost cherry to me it is what it is i'm not saying the other cherry fragrances are bad or not good they are equally equally they're beautiful but for me in my opinion this is always going to be the winner right here lost cherry so lost cherry hypnotic poison by dior and yum pistachio gelato let me tell y'all what y'all gonna smell like with this one right here this is a sexy af charcuterie board period point blank <laughs> This is the most luxurious, sweet charcuterie board ever, okay? You know, like the charcuterie boards, you have some cherries, you may have some almonds, some pistachios. This right here is everything, y'all. I don't even know how I came up with this, but this is the biggest vibe ever, okay? Can y'all see my dent in yum? Look at this. Hold, hold up. Let me show y'all my dent in yum. Look at this right here. And I did not decant this fragrance. It actually, this was sent to me in PR. And it came with like a travel size, um, like, container for me to decant. I didn't even make it yet. I might as well just keep it in here because, I mean, this is about to be done. Like, I love this. It doesn't last that long on the skin. But when you layer it, honey, like, nobody's going to be smelling better than you. I'm telling you, this right here. Like this caused a whole ruckus and a commotion. So if you have these three, or maybe if you don't have the three, layer it with this or layer it with that and get your life. If you have all three, trust me when I tell y'all. Now, the last combination. Oh, oh my goodness. I love these videos, y'all, because I don't just like say, okay, I'm gonna do a layering video and just try to put stuff together. These are things that I'm actually wearing. I've worn them for like months. If you watch my videos and you watch my vlogs, you've seen some of these combinations like two months ago or like a month and a half ago. Like I definitely layer my fragrances, put them together. I write them down or, you know, put them in my phone. And when it's time to do a layering video, I have everything here for you because these are fragrances and combinations that I actually wear and try out, okay? This one right here, when I tell y'all I did this two days in a row, I couldn't get enough of it. So Oriana by Parfum de Marlene layered with one of my favorite citrus fragrances right now tangerine boy by fleur so ev from the ev effect she was describing this and i had to make a detour and go get it during the sephora sale and i do not regret it i love this i wanted to try to smell this last year because i love citruses i love tangerines and i saw the name and the bottle just drew me to it because it looks so juicy and bright like look at it it's so pretty well not pretty but it just looks inviting i saw this in sephora and i was like tangerine hmm let me smell it there was not a lick not a nothing to spray like so i was like you know what whatever i'm not gonna buy it and return it so it's not that deep i'll just wait and i kind of just like waited and forgot about it and saw ev talking about it made a u-turn detour and went and got this this right here with oriana let me tell y'all this is a fluffy sweet marshmallow candy like fragrance it kind of smells like love don't be shy but not as even though it's sweeter it's not as cloying as love don't be shy because it's so bright it has tangerines and raspberries also with the vanilla and the orange blossom and the marshmallow so it has a brightness to it although it's super sweet and fluffy and all that but y'all with the tangerine boy this just adds like it's like a, I don't want to say it's unisex because I don't think it's, 
I guess a man can wear it, but it just smells like, oh my goodness. It just smells like super bright and deep tangerines. Like, does that make any sense? Like tangerines that could be super bright, but deep and sexy at the same time? Perfect. And layered with Oriana, that raspberry, sweet, citrus, tangerines, blood orange, orange blossom. Oh my goodness, y'all. This combo right here, if you have these, please layer them and let me know. This right here is the biggest vibe. I'm telling y'all, it's bright, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's citrusy, but not cloying. It is everything, okay? So, ooh, I almost forgot to tell y'all. So what I did with that, just like how I'm, I did with the um, Balinese coconut, this is the base. Any citrus fragrance that you have in your collection, this should be in your arsenal. This is the Seville Orange Perfume Oil by Nest. I love it. It's another one that I'm just like taking out, opening, hold up, and just being a savage and just rubbing it all over my skin, like not even caring, like not even putting it in my eucerin because... It's even stronger, even more potent. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I just love fragrances. I love perfume. I love smelling good. It is what it is. So leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your layering combinations. Have you tried any of these combinations? Let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.